Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. I woke up with this guy in my ear. But guess what? That's pretty much all you're going to see today. Because I've had a couple of people request, hey, what about those European vlogs that you filmed? When can we see some more of those? So I'm going to take the day off today. I'm going to work on Michael and Christina's wedding video that I need to get edited. And I'm going to give you guys a trip to Iceland. You guys are going to love this one today. You know what you're going to see? You're going to see the house where Gorbachev and Reagan first met to start their talks to end the Cold War. Days with Jordan the Lion begin in Reykjavik. Wonder what's up with this black house. It's pretty interesting. All right, I like the look of this guy. All right. How are you today, buddy? And I think he's got a girlfriend for sure. But yeah, we gotta go in here. Oh yeah, that's right guys, they film Game of Thrones out here in Iceland, so... They actually have Game of Thrones tours and stuff you could take, but it wasn't available. These are cupcakes made out of lava that you can buy. Just popped in this uh, little store to take a look, now we're gonna head back out on tour. So basically everything in Iceland is fish, 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 fish related to everything and Vikings. they're, yeah, and Vikings. And we popped in to actually get some coffee here, but they're, uh, they have this signature thing here that's like a marinated shark. I had shark when I was a kid and I didn't like it, so I don't know that I'll try it, but I might. Look at that beautiful Icelandic sky. Yeah. Wow. So one of the fascinating things that I just love about this city of Reykjavik is that not only is it the capital city of Iceland, but it's three-fourths of the people that live in all of Iceland live here. And this was actually the home of the first settlers in Iceland. It was uh, Viking settlers in 874 AD. So it's got a pretty long history. So while we were in that ceramic shop, he actually had some free maps and we were looking around on the maps and I found some pretty fantastic places that I'm going to vlog. And uh, I don't know whether you guys are going to get it today or not, but I'm going to show you one of the places I'm going to go to. Look at these buildings. I love the architecture here and the colors chosen. This is such a great city to walk through. Yeah, nice. Art Craft Daft. Wow. Oh, how cute. This is what you this is what you live for when you're a vlogger, just to stumble into cool stuff. Especially an entire country and city that has a Viking history and has captured it all right here in this mosaic wall. Kind of reminds me of Simon Rodia from the uh, Watts Towers, how he would take all those broken plates and saucers and teacups and make the Watts Towers out of it. To be normal is to have the same disease as your neighbor. Damn. Fair enough. Hey, how about that? I didn't know I was going to see the Mona Lisa in Iceland. Oh, look at that. An old school. <clears throat> Looks like an old school gas station, but it's all like Coca Cola stuff. Snapple. It's very Americana, which is funny because we're not anywhere near America. Nice seagull. Woo! Oh yeah, this place is legit. They've pretty much covered the gamut on Coca-Cola memorabilia. Look Plus at that. Dragon. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> the dragon's the security guard for the Coca-Cola stuff, but look at that. <laughs> the birds! The birds! Look at that. 
Look at that place, that is great. Especially that right there. Hey Gunner Johnson. Good Gunner. Look at the detail on this house, especially like right up here in the very top archways. I love that stuff. Oh, this is great. First I was attracted to the Rasta Lion, but then what really attracted me was when I looked and saw that they have Marley Coffee, which is owned by Rohan Marley, Bob Marley's son. It's a family company. Awesome, and I've never had their coffee. Well, we found a polar bear. Who doesn't love a polar bear? Oh, look at this place. And even, even beyond the Look of it, look at this place. Look at this guy. Pride of Iceland gift shop and a Christmas shop. Total win-win. And if you're ready to mail out your letter to Santa, that's where you put it. I saw the art over there, but then I saw Winnie the Pooh looking suspicious up here, so I had to look at him. I read about this online. I really wanted to check this out. It's a Big Lebowski themed bar. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at this little alleyway. It's almost like a yellow brick road leading you right into Reykjavik's cutest shop. So they call it. Houses and the cat. Wow, and there's even more over there. Look at that mural on the wall. Wow. Please log out. Dead gallery, huh? I think that's worth checking out. This guy's got a little art shop back here. Love that. That one's fresh. You can see the paint can still down there. This is my kind of place. Wow, this may be the coolest art store we've seen here yet. This guy's great. I love this stuff. And he actually, you can tell here, hand painting his own shirts. What is the deal? There's another one of those little characters. I like that. Chuck Norris, haha! -ha. I can't believe there is a Chuck Norris grill here, but I'll be if there isn't. There he is. Because you're calculating the base on the amount of And now we are heading our way towards the water. Crystal blue water. Can't wait. All right, so now we're gonna go walk off and we're gonna try and find the house that Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan met in here in Reykjavik. Oh, look at that water. And look at those mountains. I can't believe all the stuff that you can see here. Sailboats, Sailboat. barges. Hello, Iceland. Wow. And we gotta go see that little boat sculpture over there. Look at this. Look at those skies, yeah! I love it. This is seriously like a Bob Ross painting come to life. It's unbelievable. You have gray clouds, white clouds, blue. I mean, you just have it all. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Do you want some more goblin juice? A hobbit hole. Wonder what the deal is with these, like all of a sudden we just hit a patch of smooth rocks yeah. right along this little no, boundary way. What is this deal? Oh, there's a plaque. Now if it's not in Icelandic, it says Island Vargon. The first part's not Icelandic. It looks kind of like volcanic.
Well, this sculpture that we walked past is actually pretty interesting because once again, it ties in with the United States. And what this is, is it's a statue that was donated to commemorate the partnership and the friendship of Iceland and the United States for 50 years. Well, here it is. What we've been looking for. Yeah, tell us what happened here, dude. Hey, Jordan. Well, it's basically like, <laughs> I know you this was the end of the Cold War. I mean, this was, this was the Reagan Gorbachev peace talk that basically <clears throat> led to the end of the Soviet Union. This statue's right out front, and it's from a man named Einar Benedictson and his lyric harp. Yeah. And it's on the same grounds as the house. Now, I think the house is actually closed for the summer. They're doing some sort of renovations, but we'll find out because I'm certainly gonna go up there and try and wiggle some door handles. Now they actually put this here and this tells basically the story. Unfortunately, I can't read any of it, <laughs> but it's on the other side. And here's actually Reagan and Gorbachev sitting on the other side of the house, looking out at that same exact water that we're looking at now. Once the peace talks had happened here, Iceland was actually like the first, the first country to acknowledge the independence. And this was actually Originally a kit house that was brought here and built here and one of the ambassadors and consulates of Iceland lived here for a while and hosted people like Marlena Dietrich, which is pretty interesting. Now I want to walk around and I want to see if I can show you the exact same window that we would have seen President Reagan and Gorbachev looking out of in that picture. What a historical piece. I mean, honestly, like I said, guys, I really, really did not know this part of the history was here. I have not, even though I was born in that period, I have not studied my Cold War history very well. And right here, looks like the picture would have been right inside that window, right there, with Gorbachev and Reagan meeting side by side. and you would have actually seen that out the window. Now this is a little special to me because I'm a child of the 80s and even though Ronald Reagan is an extremely polarizing figure in American politics and American history, when I was a little boy, I think I was probably, I have to say four to five years old, Ronald Reagan came through my town, Troy, Ohio, on a train, and the train was supposed to stop, but it was running late, so it actually just slowed down and he waved out the window, and I remembered seeing him then. And once I realized this was out here, I just, I absolutely had to come take a look. And I know you guys will love it. I think most of you people that watch me come for the history. And honestly, I don't have very good Wi-Fi reception, so I haven't been able to look up a whole lot since I've been here. I've just been going off of what I know. Now let's go up to the front doors. You'd have to think that Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan both would have taken these stairs inside, wouldn't you? Look inside. Well, clearly the door is locked, but you can tell there's another, there's another doorway set right inside there. Now here's an original picture of the house. Look at that. All the way down to the men on horseback. And this is the name of the house that I can't pronounce. And there's the house. 
the historic beginning of the end of the Cold War. I almost feel like the one little thing that's missing out here is they should have had a little piece of the Berlin Wall. I feel like that would have been very fitting. If this is where it all ended, I mean, this is where the beginning of the end was, I feel like they should have memorialized it a little bit with a piece of the Berlin Wall. I would have. I would have. Wow, what a great shot. I mean, this is like, I, for somebody who loves history, and then to not even know that this was here, to not know this section of history, and then to like stumble upon it because I got a free map in a ceramic store. We were walking past this building and I saw it, and the first thing I thought of was like, the old game that I played when I was a kid, Connect Four, yeah. where you just put those little like, those little circular button things in, they slide down. That's what that looks like to me. I'm a little bit confused because when I first saw this, I thought, okay, obviously a synagogue. But then when I looked up, I saw the Mason symbol. So I don't really quite understand what this building is. Now I've actually seen a handful of these since we've been here. They love these spiral staircases on the outside of their buildings. I mean, I love it too, but I'd never really seen them. It's just about like San Francisco with all the statues over here. I mean, I'm getting to the point where I don't, some of these I don't quite understand what they're here for. Like this one, I'm sure it has a story though. More kitty time. We were thinking about getting something to eat here pretty soon. I don't think we're gonna eat at the uh, Reykjavik Roadhouse, but any place called the Reykjavik Roadhouse, I had to come by and look at at least. And we made it back to the church and we're gonna get something to eat over here. This is kind of like the center point to Reykjavik. Wait. 